what's up everybody happy thursday hope all you're having a great day so far um i ain't gonna lie to you it's taken a lot for me to review this show <laughs> it is and i love general hospital don't get me wrong i grew up on it but it's that repetitive ass dialogue they keep doing i just feel like every scene that i watch we've seen it a million times over probably in the last couple months and it's like okay can we move on from that topic now that's just my opinion like sometimes i just feel like i'm watching the same scene on repeat just different day um i'm disappointed and how many people they're getting to back Laura up in this because they got Liz on her side and now it's like Jordan's spewing the same nonsense that Laura's spewing. You know, like she's spewing out the same crap. Oh, you know, she's just asking questions. That's the problem. That's the problem. Why are you asking questions? And Jordan did the exact same thing to Portia that Laura just did the other day. Flip it on Portia. Oh, well, you're the one who came up with that diagnosis. You're the one who diagnosed her. I agree with Portia, and I'm glad that Portia is standing on business. Because at the end of the day, yes, she did diagnose her. But that was her job to do that. You know what I'm saying? That was her job. It's not y'all job as mayor and deputy mayor to go poking around trying to find loopholes to get her the hell out of that prison. That's for her attorney to do, not for you. That's not for the deputy mayor, and that's damn sure not for the mayor to be doing Y'all are not her attorney. So why are y'all endorsing this crap? You know what I'm saying? Like Laura's the main one advocating for it. And it's like Jordan's backing it up. Because all the answers that Jordan kept giving Portia today were political answers. It was nonsense. And I'm glad Portia gave it right back to her and let her know. How would you feel if Heather came after your damn child? Because let's be real. If Heather came after TJ and tried to kill him... Ain't no way in the world Jordan would be back in this. Ain't no way. Jordan would be advocating the same way Portia is. Let's be for real. That's just real talk. You know what I mean? I don't blame Portia for fighting this. And I don't blame her for trying to get Laura recalled. I've been saying that Laura needed to step down as mayor at this point. And I'm glad Portia is fighting her on it. And she want her to step down. Good. Do I think Jordan should be the next mayor? Yeah, I feel like Jordan should be a mayor, but she need to change that that little tone and that attitude of hers as far as Heather is concerned. You know what I'm saying? But I would prefer Jordan stepped up as mayor if she's going to do things differently from Laura. Um, Because at the end of the day, you got Heather, who's a serial killer and a psychopath, the resident psychopath. Even she is telling Laura, leave me in prison. Don't try to help me. You know what I'm saying? Because she knows that she's, she may have that urge to kill. That might be her reaction to people. If they say something wrong to her or whatever, that might be her go-to reaction is to try to kill them. She can't trust herself to be free. You know what I'm saying? You hearing it out of Heather's mouth to leave her in there. Hopefully, Laura was listening. Because Laura told me, okay, if that's what you want. Yeah, 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 that's what she want. Leave her alone. Don't keep pushing this shit. But something tell me Laura ain't going to let this go for some odd reason. I feel like she's not going to let it go. Because her facial expressions and the way she's been advocating for this, I don't see her letting it go. I don't. And if that's the case, Laura, you need to step your ass down as mayor. Because absolutely not. Because even Portia mentioned the fact that people online, on forums and stuff, are basically upset with Laura for this. So she really do need to heed the advice of others and listen to what Heather was saying and let this go. Because if she keeps pursuing this, it's literally career suicide at this point. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. Um, I cannot believe that BLQ and Christina are really blaming Ava for this. For all this backlash that they're receiving. The only thing Ava is guilty of, in my opinion, is her taking that that power away from Blaze to out herself. You know what I'm saying? To publicly come out when she was ready. She took that away from her. And that, I feel, was the issue for me. You know what I'm saying? With Ava, with what she did. Other than that, I was glad that she, you know, exposed Natalia. I'm glad she did. It just sucks that Blaze had to be a casualty of that. But Natalia definitely deserved to be exposed. You know what I'm saying? They can't fully put all that blame on Ava, though. 
because it's like you're putting all this blame on Ava and it kind of looks like you're absolving Natalia of everything that she said and their answer to that is basically oh well she still blames his mother so what so what that doesn't absolve her she still said those nasty things you know what I mean? And now it's out publicly and it's tarnished Blaze's career and it's tarnished Christina's. So now I agree with BLQ. They need to do major damage control. They need to do a joint interview and they definitely need to denounce everything that Natalia said and they need to place the blame solely on Natalia's feet. They need to do that in order to salvage whatever career they're going to have. And my thing is, as far as Christina and that damn center is concerned, she the one who created the damn center. And she picked the board members for that damn center. So at the end of the day, the I don't see how people are calling for her to step down from her day to day from the center. She handpicked the board members. The board members are the ones who can vote her out. Michael happens to be on the damn board. I highly doubt her own brother is going to vote her out. You know what I'm saying? Even if she didn't plan on running the day to day, but still, it's like... So you're not going to have anything to do with this center that you created, that you worked hard for and busted your ass for. You, you're just going to walk away like completely. You're not going to have anything to do with it. Not even as a board member. That's ridiculous. I wouldn't allow that. Hell no. Uh-uh. Nope. I wouldn't allow it. Um. But yeah, I definitely feel like they need to do this interview. And I mean, I get it, you know, why Christina would be worried about how this would affect Sonny because, you know, of his line of work and stuff, you know, with her name being in the media and whatnot. But I'm glad Sonny let her know, you know, don't worry about me. You know what I'm saying? This this ain't a, don't this ain't about me. This is about you and Blaze and, you know, fixing y'all brand and all that type of stuff and setting the record straight. This ain't about me. So I'm glad he was supportive of that. Um Chase done lost his mind. So this man talking about he want to go to Anna and Mac and request that he works three days a week. Sir, you are a police detective. You can't be a part-time police detective. Like, how that's going to work? Because as far as I know, police detectives are basically on call. Even on their days off, their phone could buzz and they get thrown the case. You could be in the bed at 3 a.m. sleeping and when that phone ring, you got to get up and throw on your suit and let's go. And get to the crime scene. So I don't know how that three days a week supposed to work when you're a detective. You know what I'm saying? Like how he gonna manage that? Three days working, four days off. That's for people who don't work in law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? Like how you gonna manage that? I don't even know how Anna and them could approve it. Good luck with that. With getting approval. I don't see how. Um... But I mean, at the end of the day, I get it why he wants to do it because he want to be there more for Violet. But at the end of the day, like BLQ says, she could work from home. They got a million people in the mansion. So it's not like she's going to be by herself. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't think that's just cause to reduce your workload. Um, that little girl going to be A-OK. -okay. She got staff and servants all around that house and a bunch of kids. So she ain't going to worry about you. She gonna be too busy playing at camp and playing with the kids. By the time she done playing and par partying herself out, you'll be home from work. So <laughs> she ain't even gonna notice you going. So get on to work. And you know, BLQ sitting there talking about, oh, I know you're gonna be a great father and all that one day. I'm like, hopefully that's no time soon. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think they ready for no baby. And besides that, you actually have to have sex to create a child. And we all know we don't get to see them do that. So there's that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So anyway, moving on from that. Sonny and Ava. These two are not only working my nerves, but they are working overtime to get people on their side. Like Ava was in pure manipulation mode when it came to Jagger. She was moving heaven and earth to get that man on her side and to testify on her behalf. And Jagger tried to play it cool like, oh, I'm FBI. I'm not here to get him in the middle of a custody battle. I feel like deep inside, he was jumping up and down down for joy. He know damn well he want to testify against Sonny in court. He know it. Whether it be a custody battle or testifying to put that man in prison. Listen, Jagger would do anything to stick it to Sonny. So he could try to play Joe Cool all he want to. But I know he was, he was chomping at the bit. He just didn't want to seem all thirsty in front of Ava. But I know he was happy to do it. 
You know what I'm saying? Like Ava trying to get recruit folks. She trying to get as many allies on her side as humanly possible. And Sonny, y'all, you know, he doing the same thing. Running to Alexis, talking about, oh, I need you to testify. Tell the courts that I'm a good father to Christina. Here's the thing. Everybody's definition of a good parent is very different. It's very different. You, you, you got to define what is a good father and what is a good mother. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's definition is super different. So my thing about it is when it comes down to Ava and Sonny, neither one, in my opinion, are fit to raise a plant, let alone a child. You know, I feel like neither one is better than the other. That's just my opinion. Um, They're not. One ain't better than the other. That's just that's just how I feel about it. Um, but I could see Alexis. Uh, I, I I I'm not surprised that Alexis is going to testify for Sonny or whatever. Of course she is. Um, if I was Jagger though, I'm not going to lie to you. I probably would have punched Sonny in his mouth because Sonny could dish it. He can't take it because the way he mentioned Jagger's son. Oh, where's your son? You know what I'm saying? Like no. Now you're going too far. Now you're crossing the line. Because let's be real. If somebody Sonny hated mentioned his kids, he would be flying off the handle. He would blow through the roof, ready to beat their ass. That's why I was hoping Jagger would have knocked him out. But it's funny how Jagger going to tell Ava, oh, soon enough, Sonny going to be in handcuffs. Um, Jagger, it's taking you forever in a day just to bring Pikeman down. I don't know why he's so confident he's going to take Sonny down soon. You've been working on this Pikeman thing for a few years now, and you ain't even close to taking them bastards down. So what makes you think you're going to take down somebody who's been in business for 30 plus years? Good luck with that one. I don't see I don't see him doing it, but good luck. More power to you. Um. So anyway, moving on from that, I totally get where Mac is coming from and why he's reluctant to give Cody a chance. I get it because he was happy at the prospect of having a son. You know what I'm saying? He was thrilled about it. But once Cody lied, and he's lied all this time, it makes Mac feel a certain way. Because everything Felicia said to Cody was how Mac is feeling. He feels rejected. He feels like Cody don't want him to be a father. So he's not going to try. But Cody really does need to fix that. He needs to tell Mac how he feels. But I totally get where Mac was coming from, where Maxie was saying, oh, I've done messed up things and you forgave me. That's different. You know what I'm saying? That is so different. You know what I'm saying? Mac has raised that girl. He didn't raise Cody. He didn't meet Cody until Cody was a full grown damn man. He's been around Maxie since she was a damn baby, since she was a child. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole different beast. That's a love that he had for Maxie from day one. He don't know Cody. But this is his opportunity to get to know him. I like how Maxie and, you know, Felicia orchestrated them to be around each other and stuff by her forgetting her phone and all that just to force Cody to come to the house because they do need to talk. And Cody need to let everything out about how he feel about Mac. You know what I'm saying? And Mac need to just forgive and move on. You know, you got a son now. Get to know him. It's never too late to get to know him. But I know Mac, he going to come around. You know, Mac is stubborn as hell, but he going to come around. Ain't no question on that one. Um, so anyway, that was pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace.